morning. It's horribly early and I'm on my way to Hartbury to do the arena walk. Um, I had to have a late night because I had to watch the leg in Las Vegas last night. So now I'm going to go and tell Fab how to do it. It's 7.55, we've done the arena walk. I'm now back in the press office to do some proper work, um, as is our lovely photographer, Kevin Sparrow. I had quite a good arena walk. I had one of those beautiful moments of clarity where you feel like the horse is really over the back and soft through the neck, and then you realize that they're just trying to scratch their knee, and actually it wasn't real at all, and you still got to do all the work that you thought you were gonna to have to do to try and get the horse on the bit. But hey, that's life. Um, and I'm looking forward to later. As you can see, she's pretty wild to plat. She has to be restrained by a number of helpers. But this is the one good thing about Keith not being here because I have a broken finger and when I plat, I can't plat down very far. So I do what's called the championship chop, which he absolutely hates me for, um, where I just cut the end off. And then of course her mane looks absolutely ridiculous afterwards but you don't get any points after the show's over so that bit doesn't matter so I'm gonna do the championship chop sorry Keith pretty apt that the last track that I heard as I was leaving the press office was uh, let it go by frozen given my propensity to hold on to my poor horse's face so I now have in my head let it go let it go and I've got to keep that in my head for my test. Well, I guess that test was a bit like what some of my friends' parents say about their children's fiancés. Not as bad as I feared, but not as good as I'd hoped. Um, had big mistakes in it, so broke in the first medium trot and then for some reason she totally forgot that she had a walk and the walk became this funny little crabby thing um, so that wasn't ideal um, but some of it was all right I think we can definitely unplack because we're not going to be in the prize giving but it was fun and I did tits and teeth which is my aim and I did also manage to let go and I was singing a frozen song but sometimes when she's just running I have to let go otherwise I've just run straight into the judges box but no, she was cool, we're still friends. So I've got my sheets, I got my final placing, and as you can tell, top 10, I came 10th, I scraped into the top 10, I got my plaque, I got my score sheets, I've got a celebratory beer, I'm really, really pleased. Right, come on Fab, she's gonna do her lap of honor around the stable, wearing her rosette. <laughs> Given that they don't do first to 10th anymore, we'll make our own. Would you like a polo? Would you like a polo for being clever?